Hello everyone. We are here at a very special meeting with Addison Cruz and Edward Rogers, mentor and mentee, meaning there is a connection here between an adult and a student that really makes a difference, a real difference in his life. First of all, nice to have you here. Thank you for uh, volunteering to show up and tell us a little bit about why you ever entered this program in the first place. What was it like? It was um, interesting when I finally got to have someone to talk to and like you learn and we get to hang out and know people and what did they do and we just get to have fun and you know, mm -hmm. mess around. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was your first day like when you first met Mr. Rogers? Can you remember what that was like? I was excited and nervous because I haven't had a mentor for a while. And then when I finally had someone, I was like anxious and everything. So I was very excited to see him. Yeah. I would feel the same way, Addison. Yeah. What has it meant to you? to have Mr. Rogers in your life? I felt like it was cool, like he was here with me and he took time out of what he does and just to come and like talk to me, I very, like, I accept that, like, mm -hmm. it was very cool and everything. Mm -hmm. Is he helpful? Yes, he is. Yeah? <laughs> Let's find out how. Ed Rogers, your profession with the Commonwealth is one of respect. Everyone in this area knows uh, your, your worthy work. What caused the decision in you after retiring to do something like this? Uh, growing up, I had quite a few mentors myself. People, when I grew up, helped, helped me along the way when I was going to school and stuff like that. And it's time to give back. Mm -hmm. you know, I always try to give back to the community in every way possible. And Jim Mathis one night came up to me and said, Ed, I got a program. This was five years ago. Mm -hmm. and he says, uh, I'm starting it off and I'd like you to be involved. Yeah. So once I got involved, I got hooked, line, and sink about it. Yeah. And, and we ought to applaud Jim Mathis for being the patriarch of this program. There's an emotional connection with your youth, with what, uh, how it affected your life, and also I can see with Addison. So, the more we open up with one another, the more we have in common. Do you think, Addison, that someday you might want to be a mentor to a smaller Addison? <laughs> huh? Yes. Kind of like paying it forward? Yeah. What's the most fun that you've had mentoring in? Oh, it's, it's a learning experience. Addison teaches me things and I teach him things. <laughs> what, what does he teach you? I teach me different kind of games to play with cards and stuff like that, yeah. that he learned in his camp that he went to in the summer. Uh, also, when we talk general discussion, uh, Addison's a very modest child. He used to be his president of his last class. Congratulations. Thank you. And he's, he's very much involved mm -hmm. and he has an extra work schedule. He's in different programs here at the school. And he enlightens me, stuff that I didn't know about, that he tells me about these programs, and I pass it on to kids that I know. Hey, did you know that there's such and such a thing at their school? Why don't you check it out? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's quite a learning experience, and he's well informed of what's going on. Addison, what is the most helpful part of Mr. Rogers' mentorship? He guides me in the right direction. Like He tells me what's right from wrong, and he gives me support. Do you feel that support whenever you get together? Is it once a week? Or how often is it? Once, yeah, a, week. once a week. Once a week. Describe that for a moment. Uh, what's it like? Do well, you look forward to it? Yes, I always do. Why? Because it's so fun having someone to be with and just hang out, play some games, talk, read, learn things new about them, and like express yourself like and everything and just talk about how you've been and what you've been doing. Yeah. So. Do you have uh, other people in your life you can do it with or is Mr. Rogers a primary figure like that? 
well, I can do it with my parents at any time. And, like, sure. Yeah, but it's definitely. nice to have somebody outside the family yeah. that you can talk with and confide in. Yeah, that's cool. How is he in arithmetic? <laughs> <laughs> is he all right? Yeah, he's all right. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> this modern math is something. To <laughs> modern math is a challenge. Our multiplications is different from their multiplications. <laughs> but the real challenge is perhaps touching somebody else's heart who's watching this right now to get them to go beyond the oh that's interesting stage to take that first step forward and say I want to do this myself what do you recommend for people like that yeah, I'd recommend them to uh, strongly consider being a mentor it's a rewarding experience it doesn't take too much time out of your work schedule or your day and you can learn at the same time uh, the children teaches a lot, mm -hmm. and, and at the same time, you're helping someone along the way. Sure. You're making a bond and a friendship that hopefully will last a lifetime. You think you're going to invite them to your wedding someday? <laughs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> I do too. There's a relationship going on here, and I can sense there's a lot of caring, and that in itself helps us all. If you had one word, Addison, just one, that you had to pick to describe this program and what it's meant to you, what do you think that one word would be? Helpful. Great. It's been helpful for you. Mm -hmm. Well, let me steal that word and say that you and you have been helpful to us for expressing and uh, helping us understand the mission and the purpose and the importance of this very, very program. I, I think you're both great. I really do. Do you want to ask me anything? Stump, stump the interviewer. Huh? Anything at all? Um, how long have you been doing this? About seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> He's almost congrats. as funny as me, huh? <laughs> Congratulations. I'm very proud of you, and I'm also equally proud of you, Ed, for being uh, an Thank example you. in our community. We need more people to step forward to set up that connection, that relationship. This is how we solve problems in a community. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. And uh, I hope this has been helpful for you, ladies and gentlemen. And now it's up to you to take that step. If this does interest you, then do something about it. Act upon it. Thank you, everybody.